Traffic version 2 and this is the fifth video in this series and in this video we're going to take a look at the dashboard service, the traffic dashboard service. If you've noticed in all my previous videos in this series, the way we expose dashboard service is through port forwarding. We didn't expose the service. If I do kubectl minus n traffic get all. So we have this traffic service, we have the traffic pod, and in order to access the traffic dashboard, what we've been doing is we've been port forwarding the traffic pod, kubectl minus n traffic port forward traffic pod, and it is qxl7b and on port 9000. And once port forwarding is up and running, we go in here. We go to localhost colon 9000 slash dashboard and the trailing slash is also important. And you go in there, you see the dashboard. All right. Okay. So that's good for development purpose, but I want to use this as I want to expose this the same way that I have shown you how to do that for the Nginx deployments. So we created the ingress route and we had a DNS name. So it would be easier to use a DNS name instead of using port forward every time. So that's what we're going to look at doing in this video. So for that, I'm going to go to the traffic documentation at traffic.io and let me close this dashboard learn traffic proxy getting started install traffic okay so we've been following this installation documentation for installing the traffic ingress controller so down in the same page exposing the traffic dashboard and they've got a couple of methods so one is the quick and easy kubectl port forward method that's what we've been doing in all the previous videos and once we are running the port forward we access it through the local host on colon port 9000 using the dashboard part okay the other way is to create the ingress route like what we did for exposing the other nginx applications so similarly we've got the traffic uh, dashboard is running as an internal traffic service we just need to create an ingress route so i'm going to copy this ingress route copy and create a temporary file here i'm also going to stop my port forwarding because i won't be needing that let me delete that i'm going to create a temporary file traffic dashboard ingress route.yaml I'm going to paste in the stuff that I've copied from the traffic documentation. So the kind is ingress route, name is dashboard, entry point is web, match is traffic.localhost. If it's traffic.localhost and the path prefix contains slash dashboard or slash API, then route it to the internal dashboard. So I don't want to make it so complex. I want to keep it very, very simple. So I'm going to say if the host is traffic.example.com, forward it to the internal traffic service okay all i've got is just this it's the entry point is web if we want we can also enable we will also look at how we can enable web secure and create certificates for this itself but for now let's say we want to use the web entry point and if the host is traffic.example.com it redirects to the internal traffic service save this file kubectl create minus f and the file that we just edited Okay, so we've created our ingress route for the dashboard service. kubectl get ingress route, we've got dashboard, kubectl describe ingress route dashboard, host is traffic.example.com and the backend service is API at internal, which is of kind traffic service. That's so now if I go to, but before that, let me show you my etc host file because I've already updated my etc host file. If I cat etc hosts, so I've added traffic.example.com and it results to 172.16.16.240, which is traffic get service, which is the load balancer service, the traffic load balancer service. That's the single entry point for all our applications, and that's where the ingress controller is listening on. Once we hit that load balancer IP, depending on the rules we've got, depending on the ingress routes we've got, it will redirect to multiple internal applications, web services, right? So that's the point. Now we are good to run traffic.example.com and i can see the traffic dashboard now so if i explore the route host is traffic.example.com and i don't have any tls or any middleware okay so how about setting up configuring a basic authentication for this dashboard service let's try that out okay so in the previous video in the middleware directory in my uh, kubernetes repository yaml ingress demo traffic middlewares there's this example that i've shown in my previous video how to configure basic authentication through middleware and let's make use of that 
that and protect our ingress, protect our dashboard service through this middleware. So I'm going to cat that basic auth yaml and I'm going to copy the middleware object and the secret that I created. Okay, so copy that and let's kubectl delete ingress dashboard. Let's delete our ingress route that we created and I'm going to again edit the YAML file that I used. So we already have an ingress route. Now oh, I'm going to paste the stuff that I copied from the basic authentication. As you can see here, we've got the ingress route, we've got the middleware, which is for basic authentication. It uses a secret called auth secret, and down below we are creating an auth secret, which is a secret object in Kubernetes with the data that contains the encoded format of my username and password. So Venkat, hello, if you watched my previous video, it's the HTTP password command to generate an encrypted string, which we again then encrypt using encode using base64, and then store the data in a secret, which is then consumed by the middleware. Now we need to tell the ingress route to use this middleware, right? For that, I'm going to go to the routes. If the route matches traffic.example.com, pass it on to this middleware and only if this middleware successfully validates our authentication, it will then pass it on to the backend traffic dashboard service, okay? Middlewares, and we need to specify the name of the middleware, which is nginx basic or that's the middleware nginx dot basic nginx dash basic auth right save that kubectl create okay so we've got the ingress route we've got the middleware and we've got the secret that contains my username and password right so now if i visit traffic dot example dot com it should ask for username and password and indeed it is asking so if i specify some random username and password it won't let me in but if i specify the right credentials username is venkat password is hello and i'm given access to the traffic dashboard suppose host is traffic dot com and now you can see i'm using a middleware and the type of the middleware is basic auth so and finally uh let's see if we can enable https on this okay i'm going to delete let's start from scratch i'm going to delete this ingress route and i'm going to edit this web entry point um, redirect so just to keep things simple, I'm gonna say entry point is web secure. Okay, and I also need to specify the certificate resolver, but before that I'm gonna look at an example of doing that. TLS ingress route. And if I take an example of one of those, now it's web secure, entry point is web secure. The TLS cert resolver is pebble. Let's copy that. Right. It's not uppercase yes, lowercase yes, and then TLS uh, indentation. You need to you need to make sure that you've indented the file properly. Okay, search resolver is web. Right, let's create that. kubectl create minus f traffic dashboard ingress route yaml ingress route created kubectl describe ingress route dashboard so the rule it says it fit matches traffic .com, forward it to this service but also use the certificate resolver pebble and we don't have automatic redirection but if you want to do that it's in the middleware directory we have this redirect scheme middleware that you want to use if you want to do automatic redirection from http to https which i covered in my previous video so just to keep this video short i'm not going to do that in this video so all we're doing now is protecting our dashboard with ssl and not basic authentication if you want you can use a mix of all these middlewares you can add in fact you can add more than one middleware to your ingress rule okay so now if i go to traffic.example.com https yep i'm not worried about the certificate 404 page not found okay so there's something clearly wrong with our Entry point is web secure dashboard traffic or example.com middleware is nginx basic auth because we've deleted the nginx basic auth we don't need to pass in that okay I've deleted that and kubectl delete kubectl create now let's try this again 
there we go so that's our dashboard protected by SSL certificate and the certificate is for traffic.example.com and issued by Pibble Intermediate Certificate Authority yep that's it for this video I will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye